Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, especially you Shea Bay lovers. Today I'm making a potato juice and Shea Bay tea deep conditioner. As you can see here, I've got my potatoes and then I also have my potato skins in that jar. Basically, I just saved them back from potato dishes made earlier this week and just put them in uh, water and stored them in the fridge and it keeps the skins really fresh. And I went ahead and actually scrubbed these potatoes. I did not peel them because there are also nutrients in the skins that uh, will need to actually be a benefit to uh, this uh, hair regimen and this recipe. So just a little bit about potatoes. They are great for both skin and hair actually. And using potato juice on your scalp can maintain a proper pH level and make your scalp clean and nourished and prevent dandruff and other fungal issues as well. The cool thing about potato juice and using it regularly is that it restores collagen, which of course is required for the proper growth of your hair strands. So white potatoes, they are chock full of phosphorus and iron and calcium and potassium and of course vitamins A, B and C. And all these work together to help create stronger hair growth and also reduce shedding and thinning. And another cool thing is that uh, these potato peels or the skins are actually great for keeping away gray hair. And more specifically, I really love that the potato juice helps nourish the hair follicles and it helps to unclog the hair follicles and promote unhindered hair growth and also prevent hair fall. I don't have to wait for it to seep or to marinate. I just immediately go into uh, sieving the potatoes and separating it to get the juice from the mix and then I will go ahead and put it in a spray bottle. As you can see, the mixture is a nice dark deep rich uh, color. The potato juice has oxidized and now I'm ready to go ahead and start making my Shea tea and then I will add it to this lovely liquid elixir. The three potatoes and the potato skins yielded about a cup to a cup and a half of this mixture. Hey guys, I'm also going to add to my potato spritzer uh, some Chevy because I'm all about strengthening my strands and making sure my scalp is refreshed. And so this particular spritzer actually can be put on my scalp because I'm not going to be putting the actual grounds on my, on my scalp. I'm actually going to be adding three ingredients. The first is Shebe. And I'll be adding a tablespoon. Next I'm going to add one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. It's the newest addition to my hair growth journey. Cayenne pepper improves blood circulation and nourishes the scalp. Next I'm going to use two teaspoons of cinnamon. Cinnamon not only plumps your lips and helps with those fine lines, but it also stimulates your scalp. Then I'm going to add about one cup of water to this mixture, give it a stir, and then let it sit for at least 24 hours. This mixture has been sitting for about 24 hours marinating, and now it's ready for the separation process. So I just used a dish towel. I uh, have misplaced my uh, proper cloth so I'm just using this one it seems to work really well I don't get any grounds in my mixture so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then add uh, the liquid to my potato mixture this cloth is really really good it took me quite some time to extract all the liquid but finally I'm at this last point and I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the potato juice 
I must say that while I am pouring this into the bottle, I smell the hints of cinnamon and cayenne. It smells really, really good. And so I'll, the really neat thing is that this is going to stimulate your scalp. You're going to feel the tingling. I would deep condition my hair with this, spray it. Uh, every weekend and then put a cap on for about 20 to 30 minutes and then wash it out and use a great uh, shampoo or uh, whatever your choice is for cleansing on that particular day. I wanted to thank you for taking about five minutes to watch this video. Please subscribe and let me know of any content you'd like to see. I enjoy your comments. Please comment below and let me know if this has been working for you, if you've seen any results, or if you have another concoction that you've been using that is like a spritz instead of using the traditional conditioning cream. All right, till the next video. Bye guys.